Hello guys, I thought that this squash plant is going to die, but it revived guys. It survived and it's growing again. As you can tell, there, there was a squash in here before, but I took it and we ate it. And look, it's growing and I am very, very happy because you can see in here, it has fruit and i hope this one will manage to grow and i also have two in here oh what a pity the other one didn't manage guys so let's remove this one so the squash plant will concentrate in growing to this squash see that is why I want to harvest them now so they won't get like this and I don't want them to be rotten This is Blau, she had tummy upset, she had tummy problem the other day guys, but now she's better, hmm Blau? Look, they are all curious what I brought, <laughs> what's in my bag, what's in my basket. <laughs> This is the male. Oi. Que fast. Que fast noi. Huh? Hmm? friends good morning today is 12 october 2022 guys and it is holiday here in spain and today is wednesday there is no school as i've said that it is holiday it's so sunny guys that's why i'm not <laughs> looking at you directly okay guys so 
uh, we are going to harvest more of our um, butternut squash as many of them needs to keep needs to harvest and look at our persimmon they are so so ripe already guys and most of them they are on the ground um we gave some to friends and uh, yeah i hope they can come and pick more guys so this food won't go to waste come and harvest with me guys and, and let's see how many we harvested today and I let some guys because they are still not that cure so we let them cure and then maybe after one week or two weeks then they are ready again so as you can see guys the butternut squashes are so big yes they are so big look at that they have a very good size so we still have in here i let this one guys to cure it here you can see we still have here as well and here and yeah there are two more here one and another one in here yes you can see it's quite big and i still have also one there guys inside and there and there are more guys so let's see yeah so i have i think two two more or three here this side yes and i still have some tomatoes as well i am waiting as well to be ripen and I hope they will ripe very soon. Uh huh. Ito guys, sayang our goat ate them. And I think this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to harvest this already. <coughs> Another one in here as well. I have two here. Yes. And this one. I'm not sure if I will harvest this already and i will finish curing inside the house in here yes this is yellow enough and can you see guys it's still producing look still producing and i also have these butternut squashes in here and look i have four in here guys and the size is small which is nice because maybe we can use just in one cooking yeah so three and four and four look yes and we have a lot of 
uh, wolfberry here guys and they have flowers but I don't see any fruit yet this one this one guys this bushy here this is the wolfberry and I hope it will give us fruit hopefully for eggs so guys we have four eggs in here oh my goodness <laughs> One of our hens loves to lay eggs in here, guys. Yes, under these bushy um, squash. So as you all can see, guys, that they are still producing. But the thing is, it's quite cold already in the morning and in the afternoon. So my butternut squash is slowly, slowly dying, guys. It's so sad, but that's life and that's their cycle guys and I want also to harvest the flowers because I'm going to cook that for lunch yes I'm not sure guys if I can do many things today yeah here in the garden I mean and this one guys this um, this was a voluntary guys um, it suddenly grow in here in this raised bed and there is one fruit and look how long is this but the thing is it's yellowish yes it's yellowish this part at the bottom that's why I think I'm going to harvest this one and we are going to eat it look we have another one in here and it's quite long look at that oh my goodness maybe this is a winter squash i will check it so and now it's giving us fruits as well look and i love my zinnias my zinnias are still flowering guys as you can see yay it's getting dry yes and look there are still buds in here another one is coming in here uh, so guys look this bed was the bed of my strawberries and onions guys my strawberries our goats ate them already uh, ate them all that's why i planted peanuts i don't have i don't see any spinach in here because our chickens ate them and radish and look at my um lettuce can you see the lettuce they ate them so i also have arugula but these arugula are still quite small yes so ayan guys ang ating lettuce so i still have celery in there and i have one onion in there guys yeah i'm planning also to plant onion all right guys so this time around we harvested 10 guys and yeah they are quite big enough yes so so happy yes guys so this time i cultivated or planted only butternut squash i planted the round one but because i planted quite far and it is quite far from the water yeah it didn't survive guys what a pity huh so next time i will try to cultivate different kinds of squash yes but this one we are very grateful because we love squash and this year um i learned so many things guys so for example if i want to keep guys or preserve most of our harvest so i have to plant more guys because last summer i only planted um a few plants guys i mean like for example zucchini i planted six zucchinis only guys so it didn't give us enough guys to preserve so maybe next year i'm going to double that because most of um not most but because some of the zucchini fruit were wilted or yeah they didn't manage to grow i think because um they need space yeah they need air to flow guys and 
uh, it's quite sensitive guys yeah so I didn't have enough guys to keep I have kept some guys and it's still in our freezer I cut them I slice them and I put that into our soups or in our ratatouille or in some of them as well I cut into round and I add that into our pizza as well and also um, our peppers I didn't plant enough peppers guys so I want to plant different varieties of peppers as well and the uh, I didn't have enough to keep that is why and what else yeah different kinds of butternut squash and I have to plant also many tomatoes if I want to make um, a salsa something like that and okras guys okras and also eggplants i have to plant more eggplant next time yeah because um i have started using already guys the things that i have kept and because i want to um, use the whole winter or until next year that is why i'm planning to double guys um, most of plants that i planted last summer <laughs> in order for us to get through the whole you know autumn and winter and spring until the next gardening season again yeah so uh that's what i've learned guys in our uh, gardening this year that i have to plant more so that we can preserve guys our produce and what else um my loofah i didn't harvest any loofah and i would love to i would love also to have sayote guys so next year guys So guys, we have 10 guys today and some are still on the vine. Hello everyone, good afternoon. So the other day I finally harvested guys the last pumpkins that I have guys in our garden because the weather is getting cold and also our goats started to eat my squash plant guys that is why I finally decided to harvest all of them so I don't know how many so let's see guys okay I will show you okay guys so here is our pumpkins guys and this basket is from a dear friend Sarah hello sis Sarah thank you for this big basket so let's see guys and the other day i also gave one to a friend as well guys and okay so let's count one two seven twelve thirteen and the one that i gave away 14 so in total guys is 14 uh we can start eating these ones guys yes okay guys so in total guys i harvested three times so in total guys i harvested 50 squashes and i only had three plants guys so imagine three plants and 50 squashes so i am so so grateful so next year or next gardening season i'm going to plant also the round pumpkin guys and i'm going to plant the round squash hi lakota hi. lakota is so shy are you shy yeah. yes <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Wee, what are you doing to mommy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Milk and caramel. <laughs> okay, guys. Put down enough your hand. Enough. 
Lakot ha, let mommy talk. <laughs> okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I encourage you to plant um, pumpkin, squash, any kind of squash. Guys, because... <laughs> because you can really harvest a lot guys and you can also so you can keep these um, pumpkins guys and you can keep this one guys and it lasts um, six to ten months as long as you can keep it in a uh, in a dark cool place guys yes the first batch guys that I harvested most of them I shared to many friends yes and yeah every time someone will come and see us I gave one <laughs> I gave one two it depends how many comes guys and see us then I gave also yes so ayun guys yun ang ating kalabasa this variety is prolific so I am so so happy that I planted this one guys yes so ang kalabasa ang gustong gusto nila guys is ano uh, maraming tubig yes so yun they they like a lot of water yes guys so thank you so much for watching please subscribe please like guys this video and we're going to upload more guys how to you know um how to cook these ones guys how are we going to use these pumpkins yes so my girls are here hey Lily and lakota <laughs> wow thank you so much darlings i love you i love you <laughs> Oh, they're so sweet. Okay, guys. So, bye. See you again bye. next time. Bye. 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 <laughs>